What is up everyone, my name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video. Today in this video I'll be showing you guys how to control your laptop's fan speed using a little program called Notebook Fan Control. So the first step for this video is you're going to need to figure out what model number or name of your laptop that you're using. So currently I'm using an HP Pavilion DV6, and a way you can figure out your model number for your laptop is to look at the box that it came with, or you can look at the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. It should say what model number or name of your laptop that you have. Now, once you have figured out that, what you need to do is you need to go to the description of this video and have a look at all the laptops that I've listed in the description. This is the compatibility list for Notebook Fan Control. If your laptop is listed in this list of laptops, then you can continue on with this tutorial. Sadly, if your laptop is not listed on this, you cannot continue on with this tutorial as Notebook Fan Control is not compatible with your laptop at this time. Now, if your laptop is compatible, what you need to do is you need to go to the description below again and download and install Notebook Fan Control. Once it's installed, open up Notebook Fan Control and next what we're going to do is we're going to select a configuration file for your laptop. You can select a configuration file by going to the button in the top right hand corner here and this should show up with another window with a drop down menu. Now if you click on the drop down menu, it will drop down and show you all the compatible laptops with uh, Notebook Fan Control. Now as I'm using a HP Pavilion DV6, I'm going to select that profile name and then click apply. Now it may say that there are thresholds that are unknown for Fanbook, excuse me, Notebook Fan Control. Just click OK, that's alright, I just don't recommend running your computer at 100% fan speed all the time. Now once you've loaded up a configuration file, You'll notice that the temperature for my CPU is now there on Notebook Fan Control and I'm running at 45 degrees Celsius. And if you go below that, you'll see fan number one and this is where I can control my fan speed. Now, if you have multiple fans in your laptop, you should be able to control more than one fan and this area should be scrollable. However, since I only have one fan in my DV6, I, I don't have the ability to show you that. So. To change our laptop fan speed, all we need to do is drag the slider over to the left and I'm going to set mine at 50% and wait for the current fan speed to go 50% and there we go. My laptop is now running at 50% fan speed and that's how you change the speed on your laptop's fan. Now there are a few options that we can do in Notebook Fan Control. If you go to the gear down here, this is the settings option. If you click on it, it will come up with three options. We can start notebook fan control when we start windows so we'll start automatically in the background and keep our settings saved so we don't have to continue going into notebook fan control every time that we start our computer up which is a nice feature the other option is we can close no, uh, notebook fan control to the system tray and the system tray is in the bottom right hand corner here and we also have the ability to customize the color of the system tray icon now for some reason it's defaulted at yellow and I don't know why it is, but I'm going to set mine to black because the system tray background is white on Windows 8 and Windows 7, I believe. So black is a little bit easier to see because it contrasts well with a white background. So just for an example, I'm going to close out of Notebook Fan Control and then go to the system tray and show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see here, if you hover over the temperature on Notebook Fan Control, it'll show you what your target fan speed and current fan speed is running at. And again, if you unhover it, then you, uh, then you see the CPU temperature, which is 44, 45 degrees Celsius. So that is how you use Notebook Fan Control to control your laptop's fan speed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. Remember, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn, and I will see you guys in the next video.